This is how you can create a risk assessment template in Excel that can rationalize risk rating column based on your main risk matrix. We start off by creating a drop down list for property column with this table as its reference table and another drop down list for impact column with this table as its reference table. Now, before we calculate the risk rating based on a risk matrix table here, we need to know some basics here. Running the XLOOKUP for the value in F5 within the header row C20 to G20, retrieve the matching column for data for range C22 to G26, which is the high column in the impact row. Let's copy this formula in a clipboard. Now, since we are looking for value in a 2D array, also known as the our main risk matrix here, for example, the probability of low and the impact of high, it needs to return a value of moderate here. So we have to nest our XLOOKUP like this. XLOOKUP for a value in E5 within B22 to B26 to retrieve the corresponding value from our previous formula. Let's also encapsulate this with an if error function to handle cases where probability and or impact is going to be blank. A probability of low and an impact of high will yield a value of moderate here. Now if we change it to low and very low, it will return a value of sustainable. Now to color the risk rating column, I'm going to copy the format from the main risk matrix and paste it in my risk rating column. If you're pondering how the main risk matrix is colored, here it is. I'm using a conditional formatting with this rule, basically saying that if the text is critical, fill the cell color with red, and if it's severe with orange, moderate with yellow, and sustainable with green. If I change this from sustainable to moderate, the color would automatically change both in the main risk matrix and the risk rating column on the risk assessment table.